In this video, you're going to learn how to implement merge sort and what are the best practical situations for it. We've recently talked about insertion sort and quick sort and when to utilize those algorithms. But today, we're actually gonna look at the exact same steps I use whenever I have to sort an array using merge sort. So if you're having trouble picking which sorting algorithm to choose for your exact problem and how to implement it, this video is for you. Now if you remember the shirt problem from my insertion sort video. Let's say a client wants to know information about how many and what types of shirts have been sold over a weekend sale. The client there wanted you to sort through and see how many t-shirts have been sold over a weekend sale. Now let's say the client has opened a few more shops with a big variety of shirts and he wants you to find out how many shirts have been sold from each brand so he can stock up for a new promotion. You see, now would be a good time to use the merge sort algorithm. Merge sort is said to be the quickest sorting algorithm with a time complexity in the worst case of big annotation of n logarithm of n, making it even faster than quick sort algorithm, which has a worst case time complexity of big annotation of n squared. And when you think about time complexities, you need to think of how your algorithm behaves when the input becomes very large. So for example, what is n? n is the length of your array in our case. So if you have, for example, an array of five elements, then the merge sort algorithm would perform that in approximately three seconds, whilst the quick sort algorithm will perform this in about 25 seconds, because we have a worst case time complexity of n logarithm of n and five logarithm of five is approximately three seconds, and then big annotation of n squared is around 25 seconds. Of course, this is just an example, but imagine when your input becomes very large. That's when you're actually going to see a difference between merge sort and quick sort. And merge sort is actually going to perform much faster. Now, merge sort is a divide and conquer algorithm. And if you remember, we also described quick sort as being a divide and conquer algorithm, but we compared quick sort with Napoleon. Think of it like Napoleon. It's fast, it divides and conquers, but it's tedious and seems to be working out some anger issues. For merge sort, let's think of it more like Moses. Dividing right down the middle. Basically, it splits the bigger problem into smaller ones, solves those first, and then puts everything back together. So now let's take a look at an example and see how we can implement merge sort. So let's take a look at 74, 3. Now, if you remember the shirt problem, each one of these numbers represent the number of shirts from each brand that have been sold over that weekend sale. Now, let's try to sort this array using the merge sort algorithm. And if you remember earlier in the video, I mentioned that merge sort is a divide and conquer algorithm and behaves just like Moses. So what we're going to do is take this array, split it in half, take the smaller arrays and split those in half until we reach one element. So let's try to sort this array together using the merge sort algorithm. So we're going to have 74, 3, 12 and 5, then 7, 16, 1 and 2. Okay, so this is the first step of the merge sort algorithm. So what we're going to do right now is take those two arrays and split them in half again. So we're going to have 74 and 3, 12 and 5 then 7 and 16, and 1 and 2. Okay, so we have one last step here. We're going to take these smaller arrays and split them in half again. 
So we're going to have 74 and 3. 12 and 5. 7 and 16. And 1 and 2. Now we have split our entire array into individual elements. What we're going to have to do right now is compare these pairs and put the right element in its right sorted place. So we're going to compare 74 with 3, and we have 3 and 74 because 3 is smaller than 74. Now we're going to look at 12 and 5, and we're going to swap them. 7 and 16 is going to stay the same. And 1 and 2, exactly the same, because 1 is smaller than 2. Now we're going to take a look at these next bigger pairs. And we're going to have 3, 5, 12, and 74. 1, 2, 7, and 16. All right, now the last step of the merge sort algorithm is to take and compare these two smaller arrays and put every element back together. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 12, 16, and 74. So it's 1, 2, 16 and 74. Okay, so this is what our initial array looks like sorted using the merge sort algorithm. And I hope you can see how easy it is to take the initial array, split it in half until we have individual elements, then compare them to each other and put everything back together. This was it for today. I really hope you understand more of how the merge sort algorithm works. And please let me know down in the comments which one of these algorithms quick sort, merge sort, or selection sort, you would like to see a coding tutorial on. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.